All right, hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Eye of the Somnium Files. Um, we just saved Mizuki, but she is not healed this time around. She is very sad, and I don't think she'll talk with me, but let's see. Um, are you okay? Yep, she's got dead eyes and she's not talking with me. She didn't answer. Um, about the ringtone I heard in Somnium. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere? Or did you just imagine it? I don't hear the ringtone in the clip that they're playing back. Date, there's no point talking to her. You couldn't heal her. Don't try and stop me, boss. Her symptoms haven't improved. She'll be sent back to the hospital. No! Maybe the doctors can help her. I still have two dialogue options with her. About the Nile message. Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday. And then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was white. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. Um, about Iris's body. Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She had her right eye taken out. She was dead. Oh, she's dead. Okay. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. Still no response. Okay, there is no point attempting to speak with her. I'm still gonna talk with her. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. About the ice pick. Mizuki. When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not accusing you of anything. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. She didn't want to see it in her mama's eye. Answer me, Mizuki. Tate, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. Damn it. Go eat her favorite stew together. Is Peter here? Oh, hey, Peter. Um, about Somnium. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a so play. So it's like third-person dreaming. The subject is the author, director, and actor. Actor. The sinker is merely the audience. But I has to, Iba has to move stuff around to get the dream going, so we're not really an observer. About prophetic dreams. Prophetic dreams? I don't think we've seen any. Ah, the corpse you saw in Somnium. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Is that possible? Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Because Iris Prophecies is clearly alive. Like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Great advice, dude. Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. Backstabber! Dun dun she dun dun! Some stab proof armor or something. Just indulging in. I mean, I don't really care about saving Iris, though, so. <laughs> what of? Don't mind me. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. True. You see? I don't see. About the ringtone I heard in Somnium. I know about the ringtone you heard. You have a recording of it? But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? 
That's what I'm trying to find out. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. Do they record every single dive I do? Because then I could maybe get information from that, at least. Peter is standing with his hands in his pockets. Boss. Um... About Mizuki's aphonia. It didn't go well. But it's not all bad. The sink wasn't a total waste of time. Was it not? We found clues. What clues? We didn't find anything. Clues. Right. Um, do you believe in prophetic dreams? Oh, why are my eyes so freaking itchy? From? Oh, let it autoplay. Oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samia. Her name is Iris Sagan, the girl you went to Bloom Park with today. Yeah, I How do met you know her. That? Iba told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. Boss is shady. If Iba keeps reporting to her, she knows my every move and what I did and who I talked to. Bum bum bum. About wait, about prophetic dreams again? Prophecies, huh? That's why you called Iris. But Date, come on. I know. A dream is just a dream. Dream a dream. Doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. Still, I just have this gut feeling. Date, are you all right? Perhaps For some reason, I feel like I ate spam, side side but I did not eat any spam at all. I didn't even eat pork. I hope that's the all. Heck, I just had the taste of spam in my mouth. Um, about what I saw in Somnium. No need to report specifics. We saw everything. We saw it all from here on the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. So then, Peter can't give me the recording of the ringtone. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Just give me the recording, dude. So we know about everything you saw. The phone, the frozen corpse. Corpse bride. About the ringtone I heard in Somnium. Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki Somnium. I know. It's but mine. I tell where it was coming from. <gasps> what if it really is Boss's ringtone? Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. I don't hear a ringtone when they show this clip. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Oh, is it Ota's? Because he said he dropped like it in that. a puddle. Maybe he dropped it in the park. No, nothing. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. Hmm. Uh, summarize for me. I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there, it might not. I just want to be sure. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah, leave it to me. Map. Bloom Park. Now I'm not gonna have Mizuki next to me throughout the whole investigation. So am I gonna be alone? Definitely don't want Ulta with me. Wee 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 wee. My eyeballs in the steering wheel! Yesterday night, the body of Shoko Nadami was found. Her body was recovered from the now defunct Bloom Park in the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. Would they really report that on the news, the time of death? Police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with any information to come forward. That day, it can't be safe to drive with just one That's eye on the road. Today, Your depth perception is going to be so messed up. Highway in Minato District, Tokyo. A traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. Bum, bum, bum. As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. Is this important to the story somehow? MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. 
again, is that important? Is the truck driver important? Where it happened important? Why? They wouldn't let the dialogue play unless they had a good reason. Iba, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Wait, are you a ghost? I love silly dialogue what? options. It's me. Who you? Me? It's me. Whom? I said me. But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Then. Iba? But why? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. Like Pokemon Go! You can't see me through your right eye. Only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. She is your eyeball, dude. You do realize I do that all the time, right? Iba, um about your appearance come to think of it you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia what's that about what do you mean well, you don't usually look like that you have a somnium form and another form oh yes. ah tiny eyeball form yes that why are you doing this now i was bored last night so huh i thought you would like it why would i like it well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. Be Reika from Tiefblau. What the heck is Tiefblau? That sounds weird. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. How do you appear in Somnium? I am connected to your brain via artificial nerve. I am part of your working brain. Our minds are one. During the sync, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred, some of my main programming is also transferred. That is why I appear in Somnium. I don't really need to listen to this, but I feel like I need to exhaust every single even need to dialogue sort of option you? before I move I on with the story. I have experienced syncing many times with you. <gasps> Although she it has. is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. Da -da -da -da. About the ringtone heard in Somnium. It was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be uh, far. Affirmative. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. <laughs> Dreams consist of memories, but that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, or otherwise warped. Clearly, they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. The ringtone as well. Mizuki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that. But it's our only lead. Yeah, if there's a chance that there was a cell phone around here, we gotta investigate. Anything catch your eye? As I mentioned earlier, I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. CSI has already searched the area thoroughly. But they did not discover anything. Well hidden, huh? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. Do you see anywhere suspicious? Let me see. I need to analyze the surroundings. Why do I have this? It is certainly the what? case that the phone would be placed somewhere not readily visible to the naked eye. If it exists at all. Did you check the horse? A horse? Shoko's body was placed on this horse. Oh, I had to exit that dialogue option. Ha 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 ha. Horse! Mysterious object! Look at that. It appears to be a smartphone. I smartphone. knew it was in the horse. Don't lie. You doubted me. So how do I get it out? Break the horse. I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. Break the horse. The horse's neck does not detach either. And how the hell did they get the phone in there? There must be some hole or something. The butthole. I found one. Where? The mouth. Oops, the, the mouth, not the butt. 
<laughs> Whoopsies. I might be able to fit inside. One moment. <laughs> I got it. Yay! Good job, Iba. Yes. Good job, Iba. Now get back in my eye. I mean, get back in my head. Poll. Who lists my phone? Iba, who owned this phone? The number is... I told Iba the number. The results came back quickly. This is a rental phone. A rental? Who rented it? The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. What's the false identity name? Come on. Just say the name. You never know if it could be useful. Uh, Iba. I Iba. Iba! Um, well done. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, don't fall. It's all right. Do not worry about me. I'm not worried about you. I just don't want to get dirt in my eyes. Ha ha ha. Hmm. This looks suits you. Cause it's cute. How disrespectful. Do you know how hard it was to make that form? No. By the way. Do not worry about me. Finish your search and investigation. You should find some clues. How am I so What? Dot 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 dot. Iba is fine. I have to check that phone. But I did check the phone. <clears throat> Date, look at the device history. Oh, there was more dialogue. Pshh. It's gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call. 902 PM yesterday. 90210. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. You have to continue and looking? Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. No numbers at all. Then why the hell is this phone here? The phone had no email addresses or browsing history that could be a clue either. Just the one clue, the call at 9.02 p.m. I had Iba look up the number. This number is also from a rental phone. No owner is registered. Hmm. Oh. What happened? The battery died. The screen turned off. Hmm. Uh, talk to Iba or more investigating? Call the number I just gave you. Iba, remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. If Iris picks up, I'm gonna be so mad. It connected. It connected! Uh... My name is Konami Date. Don't tell them that! Use Facebook. a false name, dude! Are you an idiot? They hung up. Well, die! Because you said you're from the freaking police! You oh, dummy! You so? Holy crap! What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? <sighs> I couldn't help it. I wasn't ready. I, I just said the first thing that came into my head. You should have practiced. You're the one who told Iba to call it. Oh my you told gosh. Me to call. I didn't think it would you work. You dummy. Disappointing. There is no other word for just it. Just be like, hey, sorry, I found this phone. Is this yours? You're telling me. I go. Can you call it again? Iba, can you call it again? I'll be ready this time, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, trust but me. But they're gonna recognize your voice. They're gonna recognize the phone number. The number you have dialed is no longer in. Place. Good job, dork. Yeah, call deny. Call deny. Yeah, call denied. Oh, the thing Reka from the cabaret club did to your number. Ah, uh, snap. Damn, you remember that? Um. Call Reka. What? Why? I want to hear her voice. She puts you on call deny. Can't you try from another line? I can, but I won't. Use a payphone if you want to call <laughs> her. I don't have my own phone. As long as I'm within range, I can use Iba to make any call I need to. Whether it's a traditional line or a Nile message, I can have Iba help me. Iba is connected to my mind wirelessly as well. So even when she's outside of my eye socket, I can talk normally. Who is the person we called? Probably someone involved in the incident. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police. Dummy. 
then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. Um, why was the phone, phone the horse? Unknown, but it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this, or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? What cell tower did that call connect to? Near 3rd Street, Shinjuku. Shinjuku! That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. The power also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line. Because you blew Good it. Good job, Dr. <sighs> let's go. Aiba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where are we going? Shinjuku. Iris's house? Yeah. What? I'm curious. No, I wanted to go to About Shinjuku. Prophecy? Damn it. Absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. Should we go to Shinjuku? There would be no point to that now. Oh, really? The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the moon. Up, uh... Right. Okay. Iris's house we go. Tate, why did you say you were from the police? You dummy. <laughs> ah. Surprise, it's not that the Nope, it is. Date. Why do I look so serious? Uh where's your mom? By the way, where's your mom? Do I know her mom? She left earlier. Did I meet her in this route? I don't she remember. Got a message from someone. She looked kind of panicky too. Where did she go? Uh dunno. She didn't tell me. Uh, I don't care about any other dialogue option with her, except silence. Date, you have confirmed that Iris is safe. Are you done here? Yes. I know, I know. I'm done. Damn it. Um, well. Date, you came. But aren't you a little early? Huh? You said you would play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow. No, I didn't. I did promise to go on a date with you. Tomorrow? It's not even midnight yet. Freaking technicalities, girl. I kept my promise by staying home, so you need to keep your promise, Dante. No. How are you, I guess? I'm hop, hop, hoppy, happy. <sighs> hop, hop, hop. Rabbit goes hop. Iris goes smack. Why do you ask? Oh, well... See, I had a vision that you were dead. Because I saw your dead body in a dream. Are you seriously going to tell her that? Yes. You hush. Hmm? Oh, did you want something to drink? Would you no, like something sorry. to drink? I should be going. What? Leaving already? Yes. Yeah. I, I don't want to see your go. face anymore. <laughs> well, will you at least watch my stream at one? No. Stream? Don't you remember? I'm an internet idol. And you're gonna stream online? Yeah. At one in the morning? Yeah! That's way too late for me. You're a young woman. You shouldn't stay up so late. But that's when she gets all the creepers to watch her. Oh, jeez. You sound like an old man. Because he is an old man. It's fine. Today isn't for work. It's just a personal stream. But that's not the issue. Again, that's when all the and creepers are out. Is Sunday. The day isn't the issue either. Anyway... Please watch, okay? Oh man, is she gonna die on her stream? I'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date. Why does she want to go on a date with me? In the other paths, like she was doing everything to avoid me. Or like trick me. Fine. I don't trust her. I'm really sleepy. Hasn't even been 30 minutes since I started streaming. Dante, I'm exhausted. I am glad that nothing bad happened. Yeah, you're right. Because sometime real soon... I'm gonna die! I'm going to die. Iris's words came to me. I stepped down hard on the accelerator. Why do you care if she lives or dies? She's no one to you. Or she should be no one to you. 
Day three Sunday, Gyokai. Um, I think there's a trophy for examining every single little thing in boss's room, so, uh, sorry, I gotta do this. Um, uh, except I won't read out all the- Wasn't that party a while back? Oop. How long have you had that up? Every day is like my birthday. Every day, I'm reborn as a new woman. I won't read all the- so you change every day. Never mind, there is actual dialogue. Uh... Arts game, poster, skis, snowboard. I picked up snowboarding recently. Oh? Why? This really hot guy from Kabuki Cho invited me, so. Uh. No, give me this triangular ruler. That was a piece of evidence in a case about eight years ago. Why would you have it in your room? A mathematics teacher used it to stab her boyfriend when she found out he was cheating on her. Good for her. The triangular ruler must have come in handy for solving that love triangle. Ha 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 ha, but I'm ch. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if I have to examine everything so that it's like gray font. Uh, stationary bike. Oh, that thing's broken. Pedal and pedal, but the damn thing won't move. Is she serious? Or is it just not on? Last That's my boyfriend from about 10 years back. Why do you have a mold of him? We had a bad breakup, so I sliced his head off and coated it in plaster. Don't joke about that, please. I know that she's joking, but I also know what boss is capable of. Boy band poster. Why do you have that here? We're six floors underground, right? What if it rains? We might get flooded. I don't think a floaty would save us in that predicament. No, I don't think it would save you either. Uh, Christmas tree... Oh, Christmas tree... Yeah, something, something, something... Oh, Christmas tree... Oh, if Christmas tree... If you put that tree. mask on, spikes come out that drink your blood. Ah, it's Fatal Frame! That sounds familiar. It's Fatal Frame! And then there's a pen in the door. Hey, Maka, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Uh, I'm doing boring stuff right now because there's a trophy to unlock every... I mean, look at every single item in boss's room. So... I'm doing that. Hey, boss? Why are you always sitting on top of the desk? Because I like to be on top of my work. <laughs> when you sit that way on the off chance you get the opportunity to use a pun? Okay, um, every single little thing. Every single little thing in boss's room. Every single little thing in boss's room. Nope, I don't want to talk to boss. I know there's a shoki piece luck, you know? on the back of Whether her. Whether it's catching fish or catching criminals. Um, Sobador Cotern. Uh, this dude. The mannequin talks! That's creepy! Also, it's her childhood friend, Mario. That's weird. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. You said that about the soccer ball yesterday. Oh, that just reminded me of his balls. Because of the size, you know? Ha 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 That sounds like a serious medical condition. Um... Let's see, what else, what else, what else? RC car... Shelves... Um... Bags. <laughs> Excuse me. Tombstone. That means rest in peace. As in, sleep peacefully. Who's it for? R.I.P. in peace. Ma from the host club. Bless you, thank you. <laughs> specifically refers to the Latin phrase requiescat in pace. In pace? I thought it was pace, but I guess it's pace. Boss is correct about the general meaning. Requiescat in pace. 
Ooh, wine bottle, wine bottle, wine. No, I was there. There we go. <sighs> I'm a sucker for white wine. Shame you don't have an eye for it. I have a right eye. And a left. Ha 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 ha. But I'm. Okay, wine bottle, uh, shelves. Looked at that. AC vents. How many times do I have to tell you to stop ogling me? I am not ogling you. Ogling? I thought it was ogling, but I guess not. I can't I talk with the birthday streamers? Chair? Bags. Uh, cabinet. Matroska. Matryoshka. Large key. Um, damn it, there's a shogi piece behind boss that I can't examine. Wait, there was something that was green. Was it boss? I guess it's boss. Wait, tanuki! How did I miss the tanuki? Shogi piece, shogi piece, shogi piece, shogi piece? Nope. No, boss, move again. Boss, move! It was shogi piece for a hot second. Boss, move! Shogi piece, yes! It's a king shogi piece. Do you piece. know why shogi pieces are pentagons? So that every shape is equal. It makes everything fair. What? Is that right? Maybe. I just came up with I that mean, right checkers now. pieces are all circles. You made it up. Shogi piece? I know why shogi pieces are pentagons. In chess, you can distinguish your pieces from your opponents by colors. White and black. But in shogi, the pieces are the same color. Why is that? Because you can use your opponent's pieces as your own. Oh. Therefore, you cannot color code them. Instead, your pieces are determined by the direction they are facing. Mm. The irregular shape makes it easy to determine orientation. That's interesting. Never knew that about shogi. Is that everything in boss's office? Nope, pumpkin. Uh, is there anything else in boss's office? Aiba? Um, anything stand out to you? Date, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. What exactly are you planning to do? Nothing. What? Seriously? I don't want to do anything with her. It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must keep your word. Have you ever heard of a white lie? So you're gonna act like it never happened. She's 18 years old. That's, That's gross. Not what I said. He's 30. 12 year difference. The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? Oh, so you are not planning a real date Heck then? no! No, of course not. If you say She's so, a freaking child! You almost sound relieved, Iba. Pardon? Are you jealous? Uh, impossible! I could never be jealous of a silly little human like her. Uh-huh, sure. I know everything about Date because I live inside his brain. Pretty sure I got everything in Boss's office, but the trophy didn't pop up. Maybe I have to be in a different chapter. Oh, what a waste of time then. Oh well. About Mizuki. There are many points of interest surrounding Mizuki, but we will need to speak with her directly. I hope she gets better soon. About the investigation. I am watching the case file of Shoko Nadami as it is updated in real time. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant progress. <laughs> hey Date, why not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? Bar? Marble? Marble in Golden Yokocho. I see. Mama runs Marble. She's an informant who knows just about everything there is to know about the criminal underground. Maybe she knows something. Iba is sitting on the desk. Okay, let's talk with boss. Um, about Mizuki. She was returned to the hospital after the sink. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Hmm? Strange. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. The GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. So she went out to Bloom Park without her phone last night? She went home by herself? Or, Possibly. or she went home. But why? Unknown. She wanted to be in a safe place. Um, about the phone. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. Oh! Okay. It was Shoko's phone? Yes. 
Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Uh, who called it? Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They didn't register a name. I can make a deduction with this information. We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. after Shoko was killed. Those are some sexy legs. Also, hi. Hey, Regal, how you doing? Thanks for joining. I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably wasn't the murderer. Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. To make it seem like it wasn't them? But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call so that they can bring her to the scene. But then why hide the phone? They would have left it somewhere easier to find. True. Uh, who called it? But either way, our mysterious caller is suspicious. Consider this. They did not register the phone under their real name. And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. And on top of that, they blocked Date's number and turned off the phone. The blame lies entirely with Date. Heck yeah, it does. I suggest cutting his salary. <gasps> no, not my salary. I'll cut your battery. Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. Anyway, we have to identify the call. Yeah, how does Iba run? Like, is she battery powered? If you don't want electricity. <sighs> Fine. Uh, any other information about Shoko's phone? All the history has been erased. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office is looking into it now. Oh, excuse me. About the investigation. There's been no progress, as usual. The people at the main office are so incompetent. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Or they're in cahoots with you, boss, and you're trying to slow down the investigation. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. Anything else to report? About Renju. Renju? Wait, he's still alive? Yesterday I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Well, we found him. <gasps> Dead? Where? Central Hospital. Ooh. He was brought there from a traffic accident. <gasps> He's unconscious and it's not looking good. So that's why they had the um, traffic accident on the radio Could it be? last night. Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? Uh, looks. Gotta say, I like this avatar more. Thank you. Why is the hair dark brown when your hair is black? Because if I color in the hair of the avatar black, you don't really see the lines, the outline lines. So I just make it a dark brown so that you can see the outlines. We heard the report on the radio last night. I can't believe it was about Renju. About Renju. Date, you should go talk to him. He is Shoko Nodami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. But he's still asleep, isn't he? Smack him across the face and wake him up. You're his friend, right? He'll understand. Come on. Summary. I have three places to check. Central Hospital, where Renju is. I don't know if he's in any condition to talk, but it might help. I could also go home to see Mizuki or get information from Mama at Marble. Aiba, let's move. I'm gonna visit all three places. Roger that. Map. Central Hospital first. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> Why am I so tired? Wait, he's not here. Oh my gosh, there's a person. Hello, nurse. Oh, where are we? Where is he? Where is Renju? And you are? I'm a nurse. I work here. What's your name? I'm assigned to Mr. Okiera. Where are we? Mr. Okiura's room. I'm certain of it. Where is Renju? He snuck out at night. Snuck out? Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. 
He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. And you're saying he's knocked out despite this. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. He has no alibi for the time of Shogun's Uh, sorry, mother. I wasn't here when you explained why your avatar's hair is dark brown. Oh no, I don't think I've ever explained it on stream. Why I made her, uh, the hair brown instead of black. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital. Because she's not in the hospital. Even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. What a jerk. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Oh, maybe because he knows that someone's out to kill him. Perhaps this is an escape. Iva, call an escape. Roger that. Think it looks cute though? Oh, thank you. Hello, this is Lemniscate Entertainment Offices. What's your name, receptionist? Let me hear your message. Thank you. What kind of employee training do they have there? Anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Nenju. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry. No clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the maid cafe. Maid cafe? Sunfish Pocket! Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renju was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. For a private event. I guess he was gonna throw like a secret party or something? But with the accident and all... Still, he might be there. I know about Sunfish Pocket. Renju used to talk about it. He runs Lumnus Gate as well as that maid cafe. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. Sunfish pocket, huh? It is worth scoping out. Where is he? Where's Rachel? Here, as you can see. Map. Um, that the residence first. I want to check up on Mizuki. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Mizuki. Oh. Oh. Hitomi Sagan, Iris's mother. Why is she here? Yes, but why? Where's Scarecrow? Where is he? <laughs> oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. I thought we were going to see Mizuki's dead body. I'm so glad we didn't, but this is also so a huge what shocker. Doing? What's it look like? She's better! Bench pressing. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. How? I received a Nile message from Mizuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the hospital to pick her up. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. Why wouldn't she tell Iris Mizuki about her? Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. I was out all night? What the heck? Yo, Mizuki. Uh, about your aphonia. When I started talking to her, Mizuki re racked away. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. I did- <clears throat> Well, not exactly you. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. I, I tried to help you, Mizuki. Uh, about the Nile message. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile oh, message, didn't you? I was wondering about her Nile message to Hitomi, but okay. What? 
I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. Mizuki is literally too small for those weights, but she's super strong! I got some help from them. Bad personality? There was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. It could have been someone using his phone but to you trick you. Hotel long. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. But she's super strong. Uh, why didn't you tell me about Hitomi? I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Aww, we don't? Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. Whoa, about Hitomi. She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. Hitomi's eyes look dead and scary. That's scary. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. I can't help myself. About Nanju. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? You got into a car accident. She does not know about the accident. Uh, where is Nanju? Why would she know? I don't know where he is. Can you think of anywhere he might go? We know where he is! Sunfish Pocket! No, not really. I don't know where Daddy goes. Did he visit you when you were in the hospital? No. But I didn't expect him to. He's always busy. He doesn't care about me. That's so sad. Why were you holding the ice pick? When I got there... The ice pick was... In Mommy's eye! It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So you pulled it out? Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. How did she open the door for the column? The door was open a little. Oh, it was so... open a little. Haha. <laughs> Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Was Shoko's left eye on the ice pick? I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. That means the ice pick was lodged into like her brain or like some other tissue. Gross. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. It's... So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball. Of course it wasn't. No, it was already gone when she got there. Why would she keep an eyeball? That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. Mizuki is on the bench press. Okay. Now to talk with Hitomi. Um, you're her teacher? Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Mizuki lives here with me, but I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. That was all left to Renju. He might not be any good at raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking in Misuki. Um, is it just coincidence that you're Misuki's teacher? You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. 
And you work at the public school here. That's right. A district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... It wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. Interesting, but why? They even moved to get into my school district. Again. That was about five years ago. Why? In spring. Before the divorce? Yes. But I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Were you having an affair with him? Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local elementary is actually pretty far from here, my house. Mizuki takes a train every morning to get there. Uh, how's Mizuki at school? She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record. Mizuki, why don't you give me flowers? What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. <laughs> Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Good job. Sounds like more than just incidents. But I like that about her. She's a little clumsy, and just like Renju. Uh, how did you get her talking again? You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher, and then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. Wait, I can x-ray her? This is creep. Wait, did I always have this option to X-ray people when I talk to them? That's a plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. No. He told me has a metal plate in her right shoulder. Wait, if I talk with Mizuki, no, all her dialogue options are done. Then why was that so special with uh, Hitomi? Pardon me for asking, but your right arm. Oh, does it bother you? Can you not move it? No, I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Was there an accident, or...? I suppose you might call it that. I, I have a feeling that Date was there during that incident. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. The nerves died, and... Anyway... The story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. Number 89! I wonder if they're showing us this video clip because I happen to see it in the other path. Like, if I didn't unlock that other path, it would just stop right before he turns or something. He was carrying a gun. And the way he talked, he sounded insane. But it's not him. It's not number 89. Oops. Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. What? The dream I saw. Where is Renju? Renju? I don't know. Really? Hitomi does not appear to know that Renju was hospitalized either. Summarize for me. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Yeah. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. Map. Marble. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't stream early today, because I'm pretty tired. <laughs> but I, I want to get through all this investigation first. At least there's no, like, quick time events that I have to do, which I'm super thankful for. Well, well, if it isn't Date! Long time no see. Is something wrong? No, I just wanted to talk. About Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex? Oh. 
Sorry. Ren, meaning Renju Okuda. You're as sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. Mama! How have you been? I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows. He looks so happy. Sometimes That's such a terrible father. Arguments. One time it even became a real fight. You remember that? Nope. Really? Oh, yes. You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, oh, yeah, that fight. yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Uh, can you get me a glass of water? Hmm, that's unusual. I'm thirsty. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. You work in a bar. We have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. I make people throw up. You make people throw up the truth. Ha ha ha, that's terrible. About Renju's watch. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Who's his new lover? Hitomi? Oh, this was of course after the divorce. <laughs> Ren was so happy, he showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. Who's his new lover? About Shoko. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Bum, bum, bum. Really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. Oh no, now I'm gonna have to so go visit maybe them. The Kumakuras killed her? I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shoko did something to piss off the wrong people and they punished her for it. Where is Nanju? It's been a while. I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? I told Mama about the accident. And about how he disappeared from the hospital. Oh no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. This is a bar called Marble in an alley called Golden Yokucho. She runs the place. We all call her Mama. She might technically have the body of a man, but she's got a maiden's heart. She belongs to a lot of pro-LGBT groups and the like. Cool. Um, I guess I still have to examine something because I can't seem to leave. Mama spends her time running the bar, but she's also full of secrets and confidential information. Drunk people tend n not to be careful with secrets and rumors. You know how it is. So a place like this is the perfect for gathering information. I can't read right now. Ugh. Whether it's politics, business, entertainment, even crime, Mama knows it all. Whenever I get stuck on an investigation, I come see her. Summarize for me. Okay, I did have to talk to her. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. It'll cause all the problems! Okay, sunfish pocket first. <laughs> Give her a kiss. <laughs> there was no kiss option, though. Akiba! There's people here. Ooh. So, Denju's not dead. Welcome home, Sea King. What? Sea King? Oh! <laughs> Goldine? Is this your first time here? Uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. Oh my gosh, is that Ulta? Yeah, it is. Oh, girl. Jeez, kid. Excuse me. Oh, sir! Oh, wait a minute! 
Why? Date? What have you done to me? In this playthrough, uh, not this playthrough, this path. Wait, first, girl. <laughs> X-ray. Why can I X-ray her? Let's see. She doesn't seem to be having anything weird. Date, I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with X-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. <laughs> Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. Ha 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 ha. The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. What are you excited about? <laughs> um, introductions. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Dante of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. Wait, I can still x-ray her? This? No, I'm not seeing anything. I'm about to cry tears of joy. Do you have a paraphilia for bones? Gross! I hated studying bones and anatomy. Bone philia? Wow, okay, that was a trophy. Do I get anything else? Look. Huh. You can see right through. You seriously disgust me, Date. <laughs> Do it again, do it again, do it again! A mermaid from some fish pocket. She has such gorgeous, well-balanced bone structure. Okay, I won't extra hair anymore. Um, what's the sea king? That's what we call the customers. Us mermaids serve the sea kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. Y'all should call yourself the Goldines. <laughs> Everyone working here is a real mermaid. But you have legs. They were a gift from Poseidon. We were given legs and feet. So that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. Oh my gosh, what? Date, let's go. No, not yet. There's still so much to learn. <laughs> Do not listen to your siren song. The mermaid can teach us so much. Is Renju here? No, he never showed up. When was the last time he came here? Yesterday. Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so he comes sometimes, but not all that often. At this cafe, the maids and clerks are referred to as mermaids. A mermaid. Okay, um, how about this mermaid? Other mermaids! The girls are working. Yeah, they are. Hello, other mermaid. The girls are working! Ha 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 ha! Fine, I guess I'll talk with Ota. Uh, why are you here? Because I'm worried about Tessa. Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. She didn't stream! Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning? I don't care about the timing. What happened? You should care about the timing. Tessa was streaming, as usual from her living room at home. But suddenly... The stream cut off? Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. So her stream should be automatically recorded on her own. I'm kinda nervous. It's been a while. Mm, got it. I'll try my best. What you gonna do? Okay, everyone! Here's my debut song! Let's hit it! I... I don't wanna watch her. At past one. Why would she mention me? Okay, one second, I'm coming. Ah. Sorry, everyone. Something came up, but I've got to go for now. I'll sing the rest next time. Bye. 
Okay, at least he wasn't forcibly taken. Maybe... Denju stopped by? It wasn't her mom. Her mom was at that day's house. The whole night. Uh... And that's how my story ends. <laughs> Are you a regular here? Sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday, too. Around 6.30, I think. But I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home. And just go buy figures, dude. So I bought a new one. A new what? A new phone. A phone? I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? Uh, let's see. What's with that spear? It's not a spear. It's a trident. It belongs to Poseidon. God of the sea. You know, a trident. Why do you have that? We treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. The color changes depending on your rank. Wow, that's There's very bronze, silver, intense. silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. Well, that doesn't sound good. And how nice. do they keep track of your rank? Do you have like a point card? It's more like a way to exploit their vanity. Oh my gosh, way to say that right in front of a customer. <laughs> to separate our customers from their money as much as possible. That doesn't make any sense. That sounds even worse. Uh, what's with your trident? <laughs> I'm still gold. Not that good. How much did you spend to get that? Um, about 200,000 yen. This kid spent $2,000 here? Holy crap! I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. Yes, thank you, Aiba. I hate him too! Anyways, when did this visitor arrive? One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning, and then she leaves? She looked really serious, too. I think it's Nunju. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages, either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Why would they? Tessa used to work here. She made a lot of friends. She has friends? I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls, too. But no one knows anything. I'd rather look at the girl than look at Ota. Iba, call Iris. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. Bum, bum, ba -dum. But Iris, we gotta meet up today for our date. Oh, no. What if she dies? Oh, it's that? Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. What if Iris is already dead? Woohoo! Uh, no, nothing. I wonder if Tessa's okay. She's not. She's dead. I'm so worried about her. I can barely eat. And what lies? You have Omer dice right there. And the ice cream float. Oh, this is gross. Oh, feed yourself, you stupid kid. You look like you can eat just fine. Ah, oh, gross, gross. I hate you. I hate you, Ota. Have you seen Nanju? No. But he's gold. Him. I don't care. He's a stupid idiot. Is this related to what happened? I would feel so awkward if someone else tried to feed me. Ugh. Listen, she's poor and he gives big tips. I mean, I understand why the mermaid girl would do it, but Ota's just gross. Gross! The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. And you ditched Mizuki. Did she change her name or something? In the park. Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body. And I just... 
left her there and ran away like a coward. Because you are a coward! I'm such and an idiot. Shit. Yes, you are! I should have stayed. I should have done something. And I'm so mad that in the last path he tasered me. Why did I do that? And hit me upside the head with a walk. Oh, I hate this kid. Inside, oh, yeah, poor little baby. Seriously. Shut up. Uh, oh my gosh, someone slap his face. <laughs> or stab him with the trident, please. While you're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order two, Date. That's not why I'm mad, Ota. <laughs> Summarize for me. Date, Renju is not at this location. Well, duh. I don't want to look at Ota anymore. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. Peace. Kumakura office. I want to slap Ota's face so much. He's so gross. I hate him. Ah, oh, shoot. It's the office. Big time events, probably. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye, then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? I'm not that old. <laughs> you bastard! Hello there. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? That literally looks awful. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Not the greatest piece of animation. So. You want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? Investigating! I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things to ask. All right, Museum of Modern Two Art. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nadami? No. Sure have. She's dead. Ow. It's on the news. Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. They could slow the action down by a quarter and it would have been much better. Should have used one of those time savers. Uh, I guess this is one of the scenes where they're like, don't spend too much time on it. We got more important stuff to focus on. Uh, let's see, about Shoko. Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Uh, do you know anything about investment fraud? I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. I think you do. You must have gotten some bad info. You look like a crazy man. Did the Kumakuras kill her? Why isn't this line spoken? It's on auto, so when are you gonna talk? Seriously, are you gonna talk? Look at him twitching in his chair. Gross. Okay, I guess he's not gonna talk. Why would we do that? Where's the chairman? <laughs> what? Chairman is right in front of you. What? Right in front of I me. I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma It's simple, Kumakura. really, very clear. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. You aren't the chairman. Yo, Did my heart asshole. beat because I you need know that he's dead? Dante, wait. I did some research and discovered that it's simple. Died last we year. kill the Batman. He left to his death from the roof of a building. If you're good at something, never do it for Suicide. free. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. 
six years ago. Date, look at this. Look at what? A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. He lied. Red hot lie. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Yes. Not my style. Torture. Blackmail him? With what? Blackmail. Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. Like Soul Sejima hiding in the door? The door to the next room. Shoot. Ashtray! There's an ashtray! What other weakness can he have? Gold dragon? A bronze dragon? If I make a wish, will it come true? Dragon Ball! It's not Shenron. Ding ding. I wish for Panthers. Pansu Hunter! I told you, that's not Shenron. Did you see that game theory that Joker is actually the one who saved Gotham in that movie? No. I did not watch that film theory. Shoot. I'm gonna have to look it up. Talk to him. I got nothing to say to you. Talk to him. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Marvelous. What? Marvelous Marvel. Ah. Uh, a sofa. Do you think that pulls out into a bed? What would be the point of that? Um, what's the weak point? Knife, one of them was carrying. The kind that knives nicely at night. It just might. What? That doesn't make any sense. Desk could probably block someone in the gang. There are a ton of things on top. The marble table. Wow, that is a big flying squirrel. Flying squirrel? That is a tiger. A tiger rug. Um. Lantern? Uh, crest x ray. Oh, this time it's the crest. Ha! Safe behind the crest. Ha! He likes there Iris. I recognize that. It's super interesting. Pretty sure it's true, too. Like hmm. Diner. An Aced figure. Correct. I'm gonna have to see what his theory Why is. is Unknown. The Nationals are meant to win the World Series? Ah. Oh. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a fan of. Ace, I didn't know that they were that good to what? be in the World Series. Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. And he likes Never a teenage a pussy girl. Shit like that, you fucker. <laughs> Wanna bet? Wanna bet? The Kumakura Crest. Water, shadows, fears, 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 upset, uh, regret, hasten. Oh my gosh, water, water, wet, uh, sweat, hasten, hasten, you bet. Uh, no, shadows, shadows, threat, a uh, silhouette, hasten, just as I thought, boss, what's this? Sh shut up! He's blushing! Don't look at me! Get out of here! Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! I don't want you to yes, hear sir. me talk about an 18 year old girl! That's the crazy thing about it. They were considered not that good. Yeah. And like, in previous years, nothing. Did someone good get traded to them? Did they get a new coach? Like, why are they so good now? The fat one grabbed the skinny one and dragged him out. I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Answer me! I had no idea you were a net idol fan. How did you know? You're hiding an Aset figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. I'm Superman. I got X-ray vision. About Shoko and the Kumakuras. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. The company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. 
There'd be no reason for us to kill him. Uh, do you have an alibi for Shoko's murder? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. You know Renju Okiuta, right? No That's enough baseball talk. Right. Heck yeah, it is. Enough baseball. <laughs> yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. I told Momo about Renju's accident. And about his disappearance from the hospital. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. Well, that was weird. Like, when Renju lifted his arm, that's when Momo lifted his arm, too. Ooh, coincidence. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Uh, what about Rohan Kumakura? Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization and my blood brother. But he's gone. Black now. blood brothers. That was Suicide. a terrible anime. <laughs> yeah. After breaking out of the hospital. Why was he hospitalized? About 20 years back. Both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. Is that why Rohan doesn't have any eyebrows? His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. On the right, but the scars on his left side. The doctors say he can still see. Is that why he was so obsessed with taking out the right eyes of women? Because... Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. Because he couldn't see out of his right side? And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. That's it. A question for Moma. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. This is new information. Was Rohan left-handed? Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. But isn't the left side of the body controlled by the right half of the brain? One side develops into the superior hemisphere, and if his for language and higher functions. The other side oh, it's because of scars on the left side. Okay, 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 okay. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. Let her talk, please. No! I must also form my thoughts. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. <laughs> about Rohan. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peel to him. From the toe to the thigh. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. Oh. A totally blank expression. He was scraping bonito flakes. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running. Oh, away, that's gnarly. Oh, gross. He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. When was Rohan hospitalized? About six years ago. I remember him telling me about something big, some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. That he was the Cyclops killer. He didn't give me the details, but I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? That rhymes, ha ha ha. Anyway, 
His plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. Number 89. A few days later, cops busted him. It wasn't the number 89? Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Okay. Did you take your weed yet? I don't take weed, but I will take my medicine. Request information on Anju. Hey, Moma. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? Then your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. In exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAP. What? I have her phone number. I yesterday at Lemniscate. Acquaintances now. We're really? supposed to go out on a date. Yeah. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> All right, medicine. It's literally just vitamin D pills. I just call it meds. Summarize for me. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASA fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. Let's go somewhere else, Ima. We got what we needed here. Where are we going? Abyss headquarters. How much more investigating do I have to do? Uh. Hey, Oiba. Scream? Why would I scream? Scream! Ghost! <laughs> I have been here for several minutes now. Could you not come out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. They can't see her. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh. Right. But returning to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Because you're see-through. Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. Yeah, <laughs> pervert. Hmm. If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. Please don't. Do you really self-destruct? An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. Why do you even have that function? My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. In terms of hardware as well as software, I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. About your self-destruct function. Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. This is the final storyline? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's gonna branch again like it did the other path. You're taking vitamins and calling them meds. Um, it's because... It really actually used to be um, pain medicine, anti-inflammatory medicine, and then in replace to replace that, I'm taking vitamins now. That currently exists. That she knows that exists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. I cannot harm myself. However, cannot harm my a user. Person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You have such authority. About your self-destruct function. 
Let us determine a code number. I feel like since we're talking about this so much, it's gonna like show up later in this storyline, in this path. One that will activate the detonator. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Or something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. What lie would I tell her? About your self-destruct function. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. That's called Chekhov's gun. Is it? Huh. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. All by wireless communication in real time. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes. As long as the server is alive. How did you come up with that number? Hey, about that five-digit command. How did you come up with that number? It is my favorite number. There is no particular meaning. Uh, remove everything that has no relevance to this story. If you say in the first chapter that there is a rifle hanging on the wall, in the second or third chapter, it absolutely must go off. If it's not going to be fired, it shouldn't be hanging there. Oh yeah, that- yeah, yeah, you're totally right. That's also important in storytelling, in movies. Like, if you're gonna set something up, then it has to have a payoff sometime. Which is why I hate the new Star Wars trilogy. Because in the first one, in episode 7, they're like, Oh, your parents, like, they were setting something up so big for Rey. And then in episode 8, um, what's his face? Kylo Ren is just like, Oh, your parents were like, like, crackheads or something. Like, they threw you away because you were garbage. I'm like, then what's the point of setting up her parents in the first movie? Like, I hate episode 8 because it just totally tore down everything that episode 7 was setting up. So I'm really not looking forward to episode 9. I'm not even going to watch it in theaters. Really? Uh, commiserate. I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours. But our investigation has made zero progress. Sorry. I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. About me and Iba. Six years ago, I lost my past. Names, addresses, family, childhood, everything. But that wasn't all I lost. Is it just me or is the screen flicking? Oh no, it's the shadow from the streetlights. My left eye. I don't know how I lost it. The earliest memory that I have is of me aimlessly wandering the streets of Shinjuku. I said that weird, blah. Until a good friend gave me a hand. Come with me. And you'll to see. where you belong. And appear imagination. Boss helped me become a cop and assigned me to Abyss. A year later, I was called into the control room where Pewter showed me something extraordinary. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. Boss is super suspicious. Heck yeah, she is. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. It's been five years since then. Five years and a number of tough cases, but... This time is different. Um, can you call Iris? I still cannot contact her. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. Are you worried about her? I mean, 
Yesterday there was definitely something wrong. I saw it in Mizuki Sami. And today she didn't call me about um our date. I'm concerned about Renju. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. About Shoko Nadami's murder. About Shoko Nadami's murder. Nadami. Why do I keep saying Nadami? We still Nadami. need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Aiba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date, the line is connected. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? Um. Say you're from the cabaret club? My home phone? No, that's too dangerous. Choco's phone. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line... Right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then... You want me to call with Shoko's voice? But she's yeah. dead! Me? You're the only one who can. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence. Not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. Oh, snap. All right, Hal, let's see what you can do. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't let you do that. It, it's connected. It's ringing. I thought you said you didn't get nervous. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Calm down. Deep breaths. <sighs> <sighs> Wait a minute. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. Uh -huh. Focus, they're gonna hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Shoko is dead. Isn't this so? Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot, why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister. Shoku. Oh my gosh, Aiba, you're just as bad as this. Your twin sister. His name. Get his name. How? Tell him you have a package and need his address. Ask, are you Yamada? Ask him for his name. Accuse him of being an imposter. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, I'll say I have a package. Uh, uh, oh, my shoot. sister has a package for you. Where should I deliver it? Just send it to my office. Where is your office? What do you mean? Look it up. Wait, or is this MoMA? Do you even know who I am? This isn't working. They're going to hang up. Damn. <laughs> Saving. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. <laughs> How do we get him to give us his name? Uh, ask are you Yamada? <laughs> is this Yamada? No, this is. Say it, say it. I am Shoko. No Quick, think of another plan. Ask him for his name. No, that is. Just go to sleep. You should have accused him of being an imposter. Okay, let me think. You're right. <laughs> that was the last option. You're an imposter. 
I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am so Sejima. It is so. The congressman. A politician? Sejima. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh, sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. <laughs> Why so? Unknown. But that was definitely so Sejima. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. And he also said his full name. So Sejima is a minor celebrity. He even goes on TV sometimes. Two days ago, he called Shoko. Why? In any case, that was an excellent performance, was it not? No, it was terrible. Yeah, good job. Is that all? What, do you want me to pat you on the head? N no, nothing like that. Ooh, I think she likes me. I tapped my fingertip against my left eye. <laughs> Stop! Gross! Gross! Rub, rub, rub. Gross! Stop! The nerve might break! Gross! A call came in soon after. Date! A call from Investigation HQ. I believe you're the worst. <laughs> Are you following the story okay? Um... I am, it's just I don't remember what happened before the split happened, so I'm like, wait, did we already go over this before the split, or am I trying to think of information from the other path? Connect me. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? No. My name is Akaska from HQ. Akaska! I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? Benju's dead. We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. Oh no, this is when we prisoner? hear about um number 89. We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. I know who killed what? Shoko Nadami. Get here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. Oh, it's a he! There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Thank you, Akaska. Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well, to be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... So, Sejima. So you think you can dance. Admittedly, I haven't paid attention to everything, but I'm having trouble following it. Uh oh. It's cause, like, the killer can be someone different in people's paths, like, in, um, oh no, wait, Soul ended up dead in both of Mizuki's ending path and, hey, um, you can't be here without Ota's path. I'll call the police. I am the police. What happened, sir? Father, a uh, police officer. Also, Soul, when he was about to shoot that day, he was like, How does it feel to get killed by your own father? So, can I help you? Anyways, I'm going to save this here. I'm gonna end stream a tad bit early because I have something I need to make and I want to raid in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> and I want to sleep. All right, let's look at the flow chart before I go. Okay. So no big split. Yeah, I feel like another split is gonna happen like this. And then another split. So maybe at least two more extra paths? 
I feel like there's gonna be at least one more split in this blue route, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, do it. I'm exhausted too. Yeah, let's all go to sleep early. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night. Farewell.